Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's been so long since I just got to talk to y'all, show y'all some recipes. But anyways, I'm starting this new cooking series called What's for Dinner, basically showing everything that I made in a week. So I'll be making some baked chicken. Um, I got this chicken from Walmart and let me tell y'all, this was some of the ugliest chicken that I ever seen. I had to do a lot of cleaning up for this chicken, y'all. But yeah, I got this from Walmart. Um, I'm probably going to do about seven pieces of chicken. So I just went in and washed my chicken. Then I'm going to go ahead and pat it completely dry. Um, as dry as you can get it. But I did also go in and just clip some of that extra fat off as well. I'm telling y'all, and those feathers. And y'all, this chicken, just bear with the chicken, honey. Just bear with it. Yeah, I don't know what happened to my clip of me seasoning my chicken, but anyways, I'm showing y'all everything that I used on the chicken. I used salt, pepper, onion powder, seasoning, salt, and y'all, I'm loving this new um, salt, salt-free um, seasoning So by Mrs. Dash. I love it. I love it. Um, but I'm going to put it on the screen, everything I use. After you go in and add your seasonings, just make sure you mix it well. It should look like this. That purple. Prika, give it color. <laughs> now it's time to go in and prep my casserole dish, my baking dish, whatever you like to call it. I went in and I added onions to the bottom, bottom of it. I just made sure that the whole bottom was completely covered up. You can add as many onions as you would like. Um, you can make it any size that you would like. I just chopped them up like this, y'all. I was just breaking them up. As I went, as long as it was covered, that whole bottom was covered up. After I got that covered, I went in and added some chicken broth. I used about a half a cup. Just a half a cup of chicken broth just to get that bottom covered up as well. And then I went in and added some more of this dash seasoning. Y'all know I love to season everything. So it is salt free, so add as much as you would like. And then I went in and started browning my chicken. I added about um about a teaspoon of vegetable oil just to give it some kind of color. And I did turn it. Like when I was turning the chicken, I was like, is this working? <laughs> is it getting brown enough for me? And I thought maybe I put a little too much vegetable oil in there. So be mindful of that, okay? Be very mindful. And I put that in the stove for about an hour on 350 y'all if y'all scared to see if y'all unsure about if your chicken is done baby grab you grab you a piece of that chicken and open it up ain't nothing wrong with cutting a piece of the chicken and open it up i also made rice and corn on the side this is just me washing my rice if i can find one like this on amazon i'm gonna link it below this is a life saver y'all but anyway the meal came out great and all the chicken broth and stuff and them onions. Make sure y'all put it over the top. I forgot to get me a, a clip of me doing that. But it was delicious so. And the next day I made me some meatballs and gravy with mashed potatoes. This was so good. I'm just showing y'all everything that I used. I had these meatballs in the freezer. I'm like, hmm, I might as well put these to use. So anyway, I made these in a crock pot. I used the whole bag of meatballs now i'm going in and adding a cup of that beef broth and y'all let me tell y'all with this beef broth i was like i was kind of unsure of how much i wanted to use so you'll see me going in and just adding it slowly i was like is one cup enough is two cups enough but anyway i figured it out i did go in and just keep adding enough cups and all i used three cups of beef broth now I'm going in and adding my onion soup mix. And let me tell you how. I only use onion soup mix basically for like a base seasoning. I did not add anything else besides that onion soup mix. And if you add anything else besides that onion soup mix, now I'm adding my gravy. And that gravy, um, if you have high blood pressure, I hate it for you. Because I'm telling you, y'all know I love to season my stuff. But listen to me when I say that onion soup mix and that gravy, that gravy powder is all you need. Please, please don't over season it. It'll be salty. And I love seasoning. I'm, I'm trying to help y'all out. I'm really trying to help y'all. And here I am adding that last cup of that beef broth. Um, Like I said, I used three cups in total. 
you probably saw me putting more than three cups because the other cups was like half a cup, but in total it was like three cups. If you want to add more, that's totally fine if you want to add more. But I'm just stirring it up, make sure everything is covered, you know, mixed in good enough. And after that, I just let it sit on high for three hours and I did low for two hours. And I made this early in the morning, so I had plenty of time for it to just cook. Um, but yeah, I just let it sit and it turned out so well. Like I said, I'm going to stir as good as I can. Like I, And that's why I also stated, if you want to add another cup, you can. But, you know, it still turned out very great. Very good. And y'all, here's how it turned out after I let it sit. And at first I thought that I had to add more. Well, I thought it was going to be like very um, liquidy, but it wasn't. So after you let it sit for so long, it's think it, it thickens up on its own. And that's why I also didn't want to add that much beef broth because I didn't want it to be like very liquidy. But anyway, I put these over um, some mashed potatoes. And yeah, I know I used instant mashed potatoes. You know, quick and simple. Quick and simple, babe. And when you see this pot come out and you see me adding that salt and you see me going in and adding a top full of that vegetable oil, you already know what time it is. It is time for me to make some spaghetti, y'all. Um, I wasn't going to film this because, you know, I got plenty of spaghetti recipes and I got an in-depth one on my page. So if you want to look at that one, that will be more helpful for you as well. But yeah, y'all, so I wasn't going to film it, but I did anyway because I made it this week. So, so like, let me film it for y'all. Um, so I'm going to put my seasonings of everything I use on the screen. But right now I'm just going in and getting that ground beef chopped up as good as I can. I added my seasonings and the seasonings are listed on the screen right here. And y'all, that dad seasoning, baby, I love it. My mother-in-law left me here, and I've been putting it to use ever since. <laughs> then I'm just going to go in and mix everything up together. And the real reason I filmed this um, spaghetti video, y'all, is because I have a new spaghetti sauce. And I'm in love with it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> and it's this Bertoli olive oil and garlic. Y'all, when I say this is so good, it is so good. I said, let me try something different from Ragu. And I tried this, and I haven't been back since. Yeah, I give this one a try. You'll love it. I'm telling you, you'll love it. Then I went in, and I drained my meat. And I'm going to go ahead and add that Bertoli sauce. Now, usually, yeah, I know I don't like a lot of pasta sauce. But for some reason today, I said, let me just use this whole jar. So I used the whole jar, and I added all the seasonings that I used to season the meat in that sauce and you really don't need to add all those seasonings but y'all know me i season everything because this sauce alone is good by itself that's how i knew it was going to be good when i added my seasonings in there this sauce is amazing y'all give it a try i put my sister on this sauce and she hasn't stopped using it since she was like girl i cannot stop using that bertola sauce i'm telling you then I let it sit for 10 minutes while my noodles are boiling. And after those 10 minutes, I just mixed everything in in the pot. And let me tell you, I need some of this spaghetti right now. Just looking at it, I want some more. And then I just mixed and mixed. And for this spaghetti, we had some breadsticks on the side. I usually use the, the toast ones, but the breadsticks ones has been a hit in my house. And we love them. I love them. They taste so good. I'm just going to show y'all a little clip of how the bread sticks look. I should have got it when I got it out the stove. I don't know why I didn't. But yeah, y'all. Spaghetti was good. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. And if you need an in-depth recipe of this spaghetti, just go on my page. It's already there. And the next day, I made some fried chicken. I already washed my chicken. And like I always state, just get it as dry as you can get it. And I'm going in and adding a cap full of oil so those seasonings can stick. And y'all, I've been getting comments about the way I say oil. And I finally saw a video on TikTok of how people pronounce it. They be like, oil. <laughs> Not me. Put some oil on that chicken. And now it's time to season the chicken. 
Yeah, I use the same seasoning every time. Salt, pepper, seasoning salt, onion powder, garlic powder, pepper, and this new seasoning that I added to the list, this dash salt free seasoning. Yeah, use those and your chicken gonna be good, okay? And I also don't measure my seasonings. I season them to the heart. So you can use about a half a tablespoon and I'm pretty sure that'll work as well. And now it's time for me to season my flour. I'm using the exact same seasoning that I just put on that chicken in this flour, okay? I use about a cup of flour. You really don't need a lot of flour because you're going to have a lot of excess powder anyway. So I just use about a cup of it or whatever was left remaining in my flour bag because it was about gone y'all but yeah i use the exact same seasoning like i said you can use a half a tablespoon and you'll be fine i'm pretty pop you'll be fine so i'll use a half a tablespoon for that chicken about a half a tablespoon for this um flour as well um the salt free you can use as much as you'll like as much as salt free seasoning as you'll like it doesn't have salt season to your taste seasoning to your liking season um as to what you and your family will like and now that i got everything that flour mixed up all those seasoning mixed up in that flour i'm gonna go in i'm gonna dip my chicken make sure it's fully covered okay just make sure it's fully coated in that flour and then i put myself on a medium high heat and y'all i do shallow fry my chicken so with shallow frying, I do have to flip my chicken. So I flip my chicken probably, I probably wait 10 minutes to flip. I know when to flip my chicken because I can see it starting to get brown around the corners of the chicken that's not in the in the grease, in the oil. And that's when I flip it. Like I stated, if you're unsure if that chicken is done, grab your piece of that chicken and cut it open, okay? But yeah. So, as you can see, I did zoom in so y'all can kind of tell that you can start to see a brown crust around it. And I was like, okay, it's time to flip it. And when I flip it and I see that beautiful golden color, that's how I know I'm on the right track. So, yeah, I just let it sit probably like 10 minutes. So, once it starts to look like this, I flip it because I'm shallow frying. So, I do have to flip my chicken. And yeah, y'all, um... After this, I let it sit for another 10 minutes or until I want it dark enough. And I just paired these with some seasoned fries. And my chicken was done. This chicken was so good. But I hope y'all enjoyed this new series. Make sure you like. Make sure you comment. Leave me a comment, y'all. And make sure you subscribe.